Hi there Pisces, this is your reading for the 7th uh, of September till the 13th and I hope you will enjoy. I'm using the Transparent Tarot. I'm going to do a 12 card reading, first layer, second layer and third layer. We first start off with the Pentacle and the Ace of Pentacle. So you could be meeting a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. There will be new beginnings. This could be a new love. This could be a new job. As the Ace of Pentacles means a new beginning. And something that is durable and long lasting. Then we have the Page of Pentacle. As you can see we've got the P here. It is getting a little bit dark to dusk. So if you can see, I don't know. You can see the P here. The P for page. The page. So some somebody might be coming in. You, you've got nothing but pentacles. So the page of pentacles is a young person. As this is the queen of pentacles. See how tall she is. And she's a little girl. She's got pigtails. So this is the page of pentacles and somebody's bringing you news. This could be about um, uh, a promotion. This could be about a new job, a new house or that a loan has gone through for a house. As you have on Monday the new beginning. Anyway, this news is also durable and for long term. Then we have the, P, um, the Queen of Pentacles. Now she's not lying upside down or back. This is what is unique about uh, this deck. You can use them all the way, but she came out like this. So she's looking at the pentacle that she has in her hand. And she is seeing it grow. Here it is the beginning. Here it's very small and now it has grown. She has green fingers. She is also green, as you can see. She is nurturing it because she also represents Mother Earth. All the seeds that she sows, um, she will nurture and they make, she makes them grow. She will feed them and she will make them grow until they harvest, blossom and then she will pluck the harvest. But she will also sow new seeds uh, for the next harvest so she can maintain the harvesting. She will see her return. Now perhaps this is just a pentacle that she has harvested because it's bigger than the little one here. Perhaps she is thinking of investing in something. Perhaps you are doing that. Perhaps you might meet the Queen of Pentacles and that is Virgo. <coughs> but remember, she also represents fertility. She represents fertility, fertility for birth. Uh, she could be birthing a child. She could be birthing a job, a project. Uh, 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 um, something that is tangible and for long lasting. So if you are hooked up um, then it could be an investment um, as the Queen of Pentacles has green fingers and the King of Pentacles has the Midas touch. So you might be investing in somebody. You could be investing in a Virgo Pi Pisces. Perhaps you might be um, nurturing a Virgo. You could be the mother of a Virgo. Okay, so something new is beginning at the beginning of the week and also something at the end of the week because this is Friday. At the weekend you have the Two of Pentacles. Here you can see somebody sitting in the yoga position and holding up two pentacles one in each hand trying to balance. 
So perhaps you're trying to balance your work life and your home life. Perhaps you're trying to balance this new person that you've met if you have hooked up with somebody. It could also be a financial partner. Okay. Because two does represent coming together. So you might have a business partner and it could be a Virgo that has invested as much as you have 50-50. I don't know, but that's what I'm hearing. Now we have the Venus rising from the ashes and we place that over the Ace of Pentacles. So this clearly shows that you are rising up again. Perhaps you didn't have a job. So now that you have a job, you will be rising up again. A new start. You are spreading your wings. Also, now I will shake the cards again. So we know that we've got fresh cards. And here we've got the two of cups the cups the two and look at this how beautiful is that and this is what I think um, I noticed it with um, earlier on in Capricorn where they um, they came together uh, but go and have a look at Capricorn or Aquarius they were holding each other and there was the four of swords so it's like one person was cut away and they had the phoenix as well I think they had a second or judgment they had the second chance because the phoenix is judgment duh <laughs> sorry about that but look the girl is running towards her mother or her father this could be you so you are balancing up you're coming together you're emotionally fulfilled or perhaps you might be finding out you're pregnant after a long time trying because we've got the ace that means a new beginning pregnancy and the queen wow so perhaps that is the news that finally uh, you have succeeded in getting pregnant so wow the baby is coming Wow, that's for those that wish to have a children. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. Okay, then we have the Eight of Pentacles. This one's got two, yes. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Pentacle sign and number eight. Look at this. Now let's have a look. I'm looking at it upside down. Here you can see there is a person busy with five pen with all the pentacles making a circle, leaving a legacy. Perhaps that is what you want to do. You at the eight of pentacles means that you have worked hard, you've got recognition. Now I'm just going to turn it round because I can't see very well myself. this is just amazing now I'm just going to move this one across so that you can see what's happening you can see his head there and he's holding a big pentacle against his chest okay now look what's happening this is what I think is magic about these cards he's putting his head on her solar plex I'll do it again do you see the the little gap there it's about the same shape as the head look at this there you go it sh and he becomes part of her this is so magical about these cards so your heart you've opened your solar plex and you've got all the elements there to get what you need you've got the thought you've got the wisdom you've got the ability you've got the action you've got the you're stable you're in balance wow 
this is so beautiful you are happy your whole center your whole shack all your chakras are being loved because the head of the man is just on her solar plex with which is the solar plex of joy okay the chakra of joy the solar plex the emotions emotional chakra she is to totally fulfilled and happy and clear she's in balance she can make things grow she can make things happen this is you okay this is you rising from the ashes your solar plexus is open and you're getting what you want wow magic and then we have the scythe now let me see The scythe is obviously the death card. Now, here you see the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles means recognition, but in this deck I can say you are in balance. You, all your chakras are in balance and in divine shape. Wow. Um, you might be starting a new study in order to make this like I said in the beginning the pentacle that the Queen is holding is bigger than this one so that's come to fruition something is coming to fruition but where there is an end there is a new beginning so you might be investing something new now we've got the scythe over the balance now it cuts straight through to him in one way they've cut away the past but it's also cutting through his arm if it goes moves upwards so he's cutting the pentacle then you'll be out of balance but don't worry because you're finished with the past you're going into a new beginning this has already come out several times you are in balance you're cutting away your harvest so you're going to go into a better future a better phase of life so this is the second layer okay so stay with the program because this is scrumptious this is fun so I hope you liking them and I hope you can see my story right in front of you it is something is coming together a wish is being fulfilled a wish is being fulfilled great stuff now I've got two so we'll use the top one for the first and this is the seventh of cups the seven of cups now I'm reading from left to right so your wishes you had wishes but it was just out of your reach right and now you can spread your wings and fly up and enclose all those wishes with all these pentacles with this new beginning the new beginning as the first card the second card on the first card your wishes are going to be fulfilled look at this it lo just looks like a wheel you're going upwards and onwards now we've got the page of rods and the page of rods is bringing you news and it is over the other page do you see them running so there could even be twins they could even be twins if you are pregnant do you see what I'm seeing two legs Wow so this is a girl and this looks like a boy shorter hair no pigtails so there could be twins remember this is a general reading but I'm reading for thousands of people so this literally could be twins you could be ex finding out you're expecting twins we also had the queen that's pregnant fulfilled like you've got the crown chakra the third eye chakra the throat chakra the solar plex the what you call it Secre uh, secretal chakra and then the root chakra and she is earth so you've got one 
I'll take it again. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that was the eight. Hang on a minute. One on the shoulder, two, three, four. Ah, there's two extra here. Right. So there's eight of pentacles, and they're right in her solar plex. So this it looks like a shadow, like on a, uh, a scan, and you can see two two shadows. And here you see the two pentacles to make it an eight of pentacles. This is magic. This is blowing me away. So for some of you, there could be twins, a boy and a girl. Right. So that this has got three cards, right? This one's got two. So now we've got to go and get. It's getting really dark. Sorry if you can't see. Okay. Now we've got the King of Wands. Now let's see. So you could be meeting, partnering up with the King of Wands. That's Aries. But don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius. And they are one, which to me means that you might be getting married because you've met your soulmate. And he will support you. That's the wand. And she will nurture you and invest long term. This is beautiful. I love this reading. So the whole family is together, coming together. It makes what it looks like a big mountain. Just see what you can see in it. Now we're going to the next card and the final card. So definitely you're rising from the ashes. You might you're coming in you might have met your soulmate and you might have been apart because of Kovic or you might have had a squabble and you might have separated for a while. But you're coming back together because you're your soulmates. You've got the two here as well. Okay. You might be finding out you're pregnant and that's why you want to get back together because you thought you couldn't get pregnant perhaps. And that's what our arguments were about. And then you find out you're pregnant of twins. Wow, you're rising out of the ashes. <coughs> you did find your balance back. There you go. Okay, now here we go. I've you heard me shake the cards, and yet I'm going to take them somewhere out of here. And I was just going to say, there might be, uh, there might have been a third party. But you've cut away with the third party, one of you. Because we've got the King of Swords. Okay? The K and the King of Swords. You've cut away from the past. Justice will be done. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian that is wants to cut away from the past. Perhaps let me have a look. Let me have a think. Like this, you're in balance. Your balance, here we go. This is, makes more sense. The death card could be meeting Scorpio. Okay, so that's an option. Then we've got the Gemini coming in. Okay. And the Gemini might c might fight with um, the Scorpio because uh, that could have been the third party, and there was a battle, but the battle has been fought because you've got the Death card in there, and you've left the past behind. Perhaps you might have left a Scorpio or a Gemini, but the uh, King of Swords cuts straight through the core to get to the truth, to find out information. But I do see you coming back. I do see you coming back. And because you've planted seeds so that he or she would come back. And you support each other. The wand. 
Now the justice will be done. A Gemini will fight for he, for whom he cares or she cares. And cut to the truth, through to the centre, to get to the truth of things. And so you're cutting away with the past, with the scythe. So let the past lie and move on. And this could also, the King of Swords, could be somebody official. It could be that he is um, getting to, uh, to the truth and um, actually declaring the truth and justice. This could be that you might get divorced from somebody from the past. Okay? But it could also be the man from the registry office marrying you because I see you joining in here and starting anew because you're rising from the ashes and that you are fertile. The time is fertile because of the Queen of Pentacles and you might be getting pregnant if that is what you wish. wish. But uh, on the other hand, you might even come into an inheritance from somebody that passed away and it wasn't clear <coughs> excuse me something wasn't clear it wasn't balanced whether they owed money or not look at that do you see it so and the scales is also justice with the sword so justice could be a will that could have been arguments about a will so the truth is coming out now and the balance is back justice so there could be something to do with that. It could have been from a father or a mother. Wow. This is... The more I play with these cards, the more I see things, and the more... Well, it's like with the normal cards, it starts working uh, really fast, then the spiritual uh, thinking and things coming in. But... <coughs> excuse me because this is a new deck to me and this is layering you have to learn how to layer and move them about you play with them okay and I think it's magic it is magic I'm supposed to go live tonight but I've been doing this um, all afternoon and I'm a bit tired okay I'm going to give you an answer of the angels I'm just going to put the cards away well I'm taking away the deck and look what I've got we've got the three and that one later stayed behind I'm going to leave that open I picked up the deck to move it there because I'm going to put other cards here celebrations definitely take action take action Pisces And then I'm going to take one from the Time to Shine deck and sticking out. You've got life, number one, again a number one, new beginning. Time to open doors to new opportunities, enjoy abundance coming in. There you are. Now, coming together, abundance, news, You've got two pages there. Okay, there could be more than two choices of abundance. Wow. It doesn't always have to be just children. Okay. And then the answer of the angels. Courage and faith. Mauve angel feather. The angels are prese present and call upon you to be courageous draw on the trust in your deep faith spiritual beliefs and angels to an and the angels to assist you at this time beautiful card you've also got a lot of purple in the answers of the angels I hope you have enjoyed this reading so take care uh, darlings and I'll see you either in the live or in the next video. Please share and like. Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back 
This week I'm using a new deck. It's called the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding. You can see the review. I've gone really uh, into detail with this review and you can see how how the cards look like and you can also see how the cards are put together and the overall picture. So have a look. It's quite a long video but I think you'll enjoy it especially if you are looking for new decks. For those that uh, have come here for the reading, welcome. This is your reading from the 7th to the 13th of September and um, please subscribe and hit the bell on all if you're new and welcome. If you would like to become a cyber angel, like uh, you will hear me say my cyber angel quite a bit in the videos, please join us or me for uh, in the live on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my usual loyal followers and viewers, the cyber angels. Thank you for your loyalty and trust. There is also a special offer on this week. It was only to remain uh, until the coming Sunday, but because I didn't go live yesterday, I didn't really announce it again. There is a special offer, and this will be until uh, for an one and a half weeks. So uh, Sunday the 13th, this special offer will finish. You can have an extensive reading and a very in-depth reading um, for 35 euros. It will be about 30 minutes long and I don't stop at 30 minutes. If it's 32 or 35 minutes, I would like to get finish the reading. It is quality and not quantity that I believe in. So if you want, would like to have an extensive reading, then get in there before it's over and uh, you'll be the first come, first served. Okay, so I hope you will take a note of that and try it out. If you would like to have any other reading, uh, then have a look at the website because there are different readings and see what reading you want to have for 30 minutes. If you just want a romance reading, fine. If you want a crystal ball reading with cards, then I'll do that in the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is for any reading that you wish to have. Okay, now let's begin and let's go to the story your story for this week. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you. <laughs> 